Alright, so looks like they have finally added the Megaruda to the SPY tree. It's been a bit since the update, I guess it was uh, a bit delayed because uh, there just wasn't enough uh, capacity for the developers or something to have it ready on time, fair enough. But it's here now, uh, which is most important. It's also permanent, so it's not going anywhere either. Now the ship itself is located here in the space battleship Yamato tree, all the way at the top, right next to the uh, Medurasa here, over in the Gatlantis section. It's also a premium, costs 1,250 gold and 6 million XP on the Medurasa. Now the main difference between the Medurasa and the Megaruda is of course the main gun on the Megaruda, I mean on the Medurasa. It has a range of 55 kilometers and it does 42,000 damage total. Um, if we actually go look at the Megu Megaruda, there we go. You can see that the gun itself doesn't even appear in the uh, stat page. Supposedly this is intentional uh, because the stats would look weird is what they said, or what the developer said. Uh, but basically the gun itself is similar. I believe it has, instead of a 30 second reload, a 15 second reload. Charge time should be the same with roughly 4 seconds, and the damage is also the same with 40,000 damage, roughly. Um, it does have a bit of quirks though, which I'll show later in the video. Mostly the fact that it has uh, infinite range and that it can target two people at once. But uh, I'll show you guys that more later on. First thing I'm probably going to do in the video is show you guys how to actually uh, play it because you need to adjust a bit or need to learn how to use it. Uh, after that though, it is quite a crazy ship. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do when I spawn in here is uh, turn around the ship because the enemy hasn't spawned in yet. Nobody can shoot me and, or nobody will shoot me. So I'm going to use that to my advantage and basically just leave the area because this thing right now at least has infinite range so uh, you might as well take advantage of that there we go someone's finally spawned in now looks like it's a zealot which also got buffed uh pretty recently so that's nice maybe i'll take that out for a spin later on but uh, right now we'll be using the megaruda now this thing still does have the uh, 50 kilometer guns but uh, they're not as relevant just because you have the infinite range Flame strike cannon, and uh, there we go. You can see me aim it right on him, and uh, yeah, it kind of does a cool little effect where the the gun disappears or whatever, and then a small little portal appears, and it starts doing damage. Now this thing does damage to anyone within uh, a certain area, probably like a cylinder or something that it projects, and if you're within that cylinder, it'll do damage to you. It doesn't matter if you're behind cover. It doesn't matter if you have armor. It ignores that, it ignores everything essentially, and always does quite a consistent, well actually not really a consistent, but it does roughly 40,000 damage each time. Sometimes it does no damage at all, or it just says minus zero, minus zero, minus zero. Maybe I can find a clip here and overlay it here on the screen. If I don't, then uh, trust me or something. Um, but yeah, sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does. Most of the time it does though. Especially when you're at range, it basically works all the time. And uh, yeah, you kind of just use it like a regular sniper ship engaging people, both the little added on bonus that you can wall bang. Uh, maybe I'll show a clip later on in the video where I, yeah, make people not so happy about the ship by wall banging them. Uh, probably might change, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if this is intended or not, which is the thing. Here you see me aiming at this Amateras. Uh, this guy's gonna show us uh, or show me how to actually counter the Megaruda, because you can. Uh, it's You can. It's not exactly the easiest. Also my voice lag there with the game. Uh, we'll ignore that. Um, but basically, the way how you counter the Megaruda is you move out of that like cylinder area where it does damage to you. So this guy's gonna show that right now. Where there we go, the portal is appearing and you can see him boost away. And now that he boosts away, it doesn't do any damage to him anymore. So uh, yeah. That's one way how you can stay safe from this thing is be in a ship like Hood, Great Barrier Reef are probably really good counters, even just the basic Yamato or anything that can like move quickly uh, or leave an area quickly is very good at countering this. On the other hand, stuff like uh, Belator or Bellator, however you say it, or uh, carriers in general are quite bad against this thing because they can't really move that quickly. 
Anyway, here you can see me engage at someone, uh, I can't really see it on the screen, but he's quite far away. And uh, also simultaneously aim at this guy over to the right because he's closer and he's within gun range. So uh, I have to shoot him or else he may start shooting me. There we go, he's dead. And uh, then I can just focus my attention to this other guy here. Maybe I should have enabled my uh, quantum torpedoes or whatever, but he's um, not within range yet anyway. So it's not too big a deal. And uh, yeah, we'll just aim it like usual. The way you aim it is you use this uh, the white reticle where it tells you where your ship's pointing and you aim that at the enemy ships and not the little five kilometer mark that you see uh on the screen somewhere if i can find it there you go there it is um yeah basically you don't use that ignore that that's probably just an internal thing uh, what's more important is the uh, yeah the, the white reticle that you see Alright, so in this next clip, uh, I'm just going to quickly show how this thing completely ignores cover. There we go, I'm just going to aim at this, uh, I think it's an SDV, who is uh, trying to get behind this little rock here. And unfortunately for him, even if he does get behind the rock, uh, it'll still do damage. Because, uh, yeah, this thing is just a bit powerful. Uh, just a bit. Um, there we go, we're going to cut bit more forward into the video right now he is completely behind cover and uh the portal won't care uh, it'll go right through the rock like i said i'm not sure if this is intentional or not uh probably isn't i'm gonna say uh but you never know really these days um yeah it, it is how it is i'm gonna skip to another really interesting clip here i think here's the same guy in the sdv uh unfortunate i guess but what I want to show here is how that you can do damage to multiple targets at once. Now this only really works when they're nice and close together uh, in a nice line. So uh, that the cylinder kind of affects both vehicles and you do 40,000 damage to uh, both enemy ships uh, regardless of how many there are. I haven't really tested it too much but I think as far as, you know, as, far as I know you can stack as many ships as you want and it'll do 40,000 damage to each ship regardless of uh, how many there are gonna just focus off this Bellator here because uh yeah it's an easy target to shoot at this thing also gets access to a pretty decent fighter wing so you can fend off against carriers and even missiles quite well um yeah that, that is that is how it is Alright, here's another great example of me doing damage to multiple targets at once. I'll just aim right in between those two ships there, and uh, yeah, damage things will do damage things. I mean, there we go, we'll just finish that one ship off and do damage to the other one. I mean, uh, yeah. So if you're ever facing a Megaruda, then just don't be close to your teammates. So don't be close to your teammates in a line uh, in relation to the Megaruda, because it will do damage to both of you. Uh, it'll only be 40,000 though each time, but then again, that's uh, still problematic when it can ignore wave motion shields, armor, cover. It does get annoying after a while, I'd imagine. All right, well, uh, that really is it. I mean, there's nothing really too much more to talk about this thing. I think I've covered basically everything important here you can even see me dueling uh i don't even know what that is actually probably a great barrier reef here uh, with my planes and missiles and stuff like that those are probably the most problematic ships right but you can see that it actually has pretty decent missile pd so uh yeah there's that but hopefully you have enjoyed this video here uh it's been, admittedly been quite a long since i've uh, posted one because i just didn't feel like it before but uh, now i do because this thing's extremely funny It'll most likely get nerfed, or at least I wouldn't be surprised if it would get nerfed. 
But anyway, uh, hopefully you have enjoyed this video here. Let me know what you guys think about uh, this ship in the comments below. At least how it is in game right now. It uh, really doesn't have any blind spots. There we go. I said the name. I said the funny. Uh, we can peacefully forget about that now. But hopefully you've enjoyed this video at the very least. Anyway, we'll see each other probably on the battlefield then. Bye-bye.